All right, we got a little hot topic today. Should have been done this long time ago. I had to deal with this on a daily basis. Misfire codes. Replace my belt, that'll fix it. Don't forget, Hunter Works makes the best belt on the planet. Gets you one. Uh, there's so much misinformation about what causes uh, faults or a misfire code, which in turn, most of them are false misfire code. The number one answer is replace your belt. That is the number one wrong answer to it. You go, oh yeah, well I put a new belt on and it fixed mine for how long though? Well, three or 400 miles on his back. Yes, sir. You had, you had a primary clutch issue that was allowing your belt to slip, sending a misfire code. All right, so what is a misfire code anyway? All right, so these computers are not as smart as your, your car truck may be. There is a, a fault code, if you will, the setup in the computer that says when this, this, and this does not match in the range that's acceptable to me, me being a computer, when this, when these are not acceptable and we get values outside of the range I've put in, trip, misfire. What can that come from? Misfires, anything that changes RPM in relationship to where it's supposed to be belt slipping, a primary clutch issue, you put some kind of new clutch modification on the change RPM, you put a gear reduction on the change RPM, you put a tire size on to get it out of the RPM. So some vehicles are more susceptible to this than others. It seems generals are more susceptible to this than others. When it's anything other than a spark plug misfiring or fuel didn't go to that cylinder, something literal, it's called a false misfire, okay? Why is it false? Because it's technically not misfiring, it's just RPM range is out of what the computer expects it to be. And it's not smart enough to tell you exactly what the problem is, okay? Like a car might be. All right, so it's, it's not a belt as a general rule. Now, if you put a new belt on, a new belt's always wider than your old, so if you had, say, a spider nut spider backing off just barely, you put a new belt on there and it's wider because it's brand new, it'll clear it up for a short period of time. As soon as it gets good and broke in, it narrows up. Your spider nut spider backed off a little bit, belt goes slipping, you got a bad roller and a primary clutch. It's not operating correctly. We got something going on in the secondary. Anything that's physically wrong can show up as a misfire code, false misfire code. The belt is not the culprit, it's usually the victim here, and it's not the fix, okay? So, just to short down and dirty to what uh, misfire codes are. However, just keep in mind, as I tell customers, hey, we can't find anything wrong with your clutch or belt, you may legitimately be getting a misfire code, and sometimes, that's hard to determine because computers aren't smart enough to tell you that. They just have a table in there, if you will. I should have probably put this in the front of this video, but there's a table that says when this speed, this throttle position, this RPM, etc., when all this meets this, everything's lovely, we're good. If something changes in there, then boom, okay? There's an acceptable range. I'm just making this up. If that somebody that programmed this said, when throttles at 20% opening, speed is at 30 miles an hour, RPM should be between 3,800 and 4,200, okay? And as long as those conditions are met, nothing happens. Too high or too low, hey, it's out of range on RPM, misfire. Will not be fixed until you fix it. Whatever's causing the change, it'll keep doing it until you fix it. To clear them, I think you have to have no fault for a certain amount of time driving it. Uh, it'll clear itself up, okay, by driving it at a slower speed till it's cleared out. I think it's a minute or something. It's been a while since I had to fix that. Just to simple down and dirty what misfire codes are, mostly faults, misfire codes. Do not always blame the belt because Nine times out of ten, that is not it. However, if you've slipped one bad enough, burned one bad enough, and you've narrowed it way down or damaged it, well, sure, putting a new belt on is going to take care of it. Got any questions? Todd at HunterWorks.com. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell, get you on a works belt. Thanks.